44 straight and 39 of the last 40. Off we go from Bloomington with Giles Jackson to bring it out of the end zone. Jackson stopped at the 20. That is where Michigan position against Michigan State, third and long. And Milton's first throw down the sideline, and Cornelius Johnson couldn't get it. Jamar Johnson. Six-yard line. Penix looks to throw. He's given time. Here's Ty Freifogel, left alone, in the flats. Makes a cut and a big gain in the first play for Indiana. A gain of 20. On third and five, out of the backfield again, it's Scott. Right to the sticks, McGraw. 92, watching on. Third down and short, they hand it off to Stevie Scott. He is big and strong, and he keeps on churning for a first down and then a little bit more. And I'm not sure. Second and six. Penix finds the crosser. It's Ty Freifogel for an Indiana first down. That's a concept the Hoosiers. Well, they got him drawn off again. To the end zone again. Miles Marshall for the Indiana touchdown. Excited about getting him and his size back and his 6'4. He put it up there where only he could get it. When hard to watch a game tape from a week ago and see where you were going to challenge and test these Wolverines. You saw it against Gray a couple times on the other side. That time, Jermon Green is just in one on one coverage and it's simply ball awareness. But on this opening drive, he goes six for eight with a touchdown to Miles Marshall. In that front. Throw it again on second down, well protected this time. Coverage downfield is good. He throws on the move and has a first down to Ronnie Bell, who's to the 45 where he's tossed it against Penn State. Played even better against Rutgers. Going over the top against that secondary on the next play. Johnson, bang, just like that. The Wolverines take advantage. And Cornelius Johnson gets his first touchdown of the season. And what a sweet, sweet call from Coach Gaddis to go at that safety that is just squatting and sitting the post route right behind him. And as you said, a tremendous job of using your hands. You don't wait for the football. Jalen Williams is an excellent corner. You got to go up and get it. Going to step up. What a response on that drive. And the answer this time is Cornelius Johnson's possession. On second and nine, Penix against pressure gets rid of it for a first down. Back to the air against pressure. He's got one on one. Back shoulder throw. There it is. Pulled in by Ty Fred. There they go again. It's another free play. And so an end zone shot. Up top. Freifogel's got it, and both Indiana touchdowns have come on free plays. Offside, defense number 44. The penalty is declined. The result of the play is a touchdown. Yes, you know, just say it again, and I know Charles Woodson is watching this game, and he's like, man, you're there, now go find the football. Right here. It's a couple of big ones on this drive. Extra point added, and Indiana is over the middle. There's Freifogel having a huge first half. First down to the 30. It's time to snap it on the first clap. Penix steps up into a tight window for failure. Hits it well down the middle with plenty. How about Charles of a Jackson, Tennessee, drilling a two-yard gain on first down. Second and eight for Penix. Gets rid of it to James, who's got a first down. And so, so much for the three and out. Hard count works again. Unbelievable. Penix again finds a window, taking advantage with Marshall. Four of those in the long completions. Penix well protected here on time and rhythm. He's got five over for another big gain into Michigan. Here's Scott. Big hole off the right side. Inside the 15, first down. Long now he's to the left side of Penix. He's got it. And he's got a first down. Daxton Hill, second down and goal. They snap it quickly. Into the flats. That's a touchdown. Peyton Hendershot. Indiana remains perfect on the season in the red zone. And they're up by three scores late in the first half. He's just the end man here on the line, and just that same concept, two inside receivers, inside release. 
Do he even have outside leverage right there? Is this not Michigan football? And kudos to the Hoosiers, who, as we said in the open, Joe. Hey everybody, I'm Wheels. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, enjoy the second half highlights. So with a penalty of first and 20 and a throw from Milton, huge window over the middle of the field for Ronnie Bell, and he fights his way for a first down in his career. Pressure off of the edge here, it's picked up. Milton steps up, resets the feet. Down the field, it's Bell! Ronnie Bell keeps his balance to take it inside the 20. Third down, they bring pressure. Milton lets it fly. Diving catch. Touchdown, Michigan. It's Roman Wilson with his first career score. This freshman that they are really excited about sprawls to pull it in for a touchdown on third down. It starts with the guys up front picking it up, just giving Milton that space. And what a beautiful route. Wilson at the top of the route sticks it. He runs away. What an answer from Michigan. Had to happen. They get the stop, and they get the score. Five-yard line. And the Penix back to throw. Looking short side. Hendershot juggles and catches. First down, crossing the field. Hendershot. First down. Second. On third and ten. Pressure again. Penix's chase. Gets rid of it. Tight coverage and incomplete, but a flag. Just no... It's Hendershot, right to the marker. It's first down and 20 for the Hoosiers. Penix over the middle, wide open, Jacoby Hewitt. First down and goal, and a gain of 20. Scott straight ahead to the goal line and in. Touchdown, Hoosiers. They waste no time getting back in the end zone after Michigan cut it to 10. Caleb, he may get called for a holding every now and then, but you want to wash down a line of scrimmage? <laughs> He's just gigantic. He's a beast. And all you got the big of an offensive lineman as you're ever going to find. They recruited him hoping he would. He's down 17. Pressure coming from Indiana. It's picked up, so Milton has time and a first down. Nick Eubank. Second and six. Fake the Charbonnet. Milton steps up. He'll check it down. Charbonnet again. He's got a first down inside the 25 to the 21. Who has high expectations, but learning on the job. Floats one for the end zone. Ronnie Bell, touchdown. Third touchdown of the day for Joe Milton. Finds Ronnie Bell, his first of the season. And Michigan back to within two scores. I love this route concept. It used to be a hitch corner back in the day, and now it's a hitch fade. All the space, all the green grass for Ronnie Bell. And it gives the quarterback so much room to just make any throw away from that DB. And that's one of the country's best in Mullen. But you see Bell attack the ball. And a little bit of time. I mean, you ask, is the veteran going to be the guy to start to do it? That's his fifth catch for 132. First down from the 47. He looks to throw again. Clean pocket again. That pass thrown right to a defender. Jalen Williams, the interception. He's got one in all three games. He's still alive. He's got a couple of blocks to take him inside the 35. And down to the 30. First interception of the season thrown by Milton. His return 36 yards. And just when it looks like he's settling in, right into the advantage of these takeaways. Here comes Scott with a gaping hole. First down inside the 15. Straight downhill. Scott's got a first down. Hurling his way over the line of scrimmage. First to be in a go with on third down. Back to the ground. You go with manhood right here. You go with your center, your captain, who you love, and you just demand of those big guys up front to win, to not get penetration, and just to knock the Wolverines back. That is an O-line statement. That is a phone booth statement. That is like they'd love to do, and get the two-by-fours out there and just go man-on-man. -man and who for an extra point here. Makes it a three-possession game. With 8.40 left. 
From the 25-yard line, Milton will dump it off to Blake Corn. And Corn, the dangerous freshman, crosses the 40. A gain of 21 in the first play of the third and 14. Milton for Bell and a first down and a perfect strike. Third down and 25, rushing just three this time, so Milton has time to size things up downfield. Now gets Chase, heaves it downfield, and it's picked off by Matthews. Second interception of this fourth quarter by the Hoosiers. And with 5.05 left, they've got the ball in a 17-point lead, and they can smell it. Oh, it'd be their first win over Big Bad Michigan since 1987.